Okay, it's Tuesday morning and I'm back on the old cottage conversion extension I'm doing. Uh, went this morning to Brands and got a load of plimps because build baits were taking way too long. So we've got our plinth bricks finally and I'm just setting everything up for the plimps now. I've got a 50mm slither on the back of my brickwork to maintain a 100mm cavity. So I've just got to do that for a couple of courses. The inspector's been out, he's pretty happy. The only thing what caught his attention is how high the ground level is here. Uh, so we're dictated how high this is because of the drains which are already in. And over there's a septic tank. So we can't strip this ground, uh, ground back. So what we're doing, we're having our tray come out slightly higher, about there. So it's not a full 225 drop, but Inspector's not really bothered about that. What we're just going to do is uh, when we do our block work over at this height, so 450, I'm going to put another roll of 100 mil down. Uh, so yeah, and then this is it. We're just doing this detail on the back to get us a 100 mil cavity. I was just going to put a block on the back, but that would have made us 50 mil cavity. It would have stepped back to 100 mil, but yeah. Anyway, let's crack on. So this is the stage we are at now. Just done to that internal corner. Still need to put the 50 mil slithers on the back of them plimps, but I've done that and this to there. Just put this 50 mil slither on the back. I roll 100 mil tray here. First block going there. So it should be all right. It's what it is really. Getting there, just busy on my own. Um, a lot more cutting to do so i'm just cracking on really today i'll probably catch up with you properly tomorrow once it's done maybe once or twice today and finished all this front and now we're going to be just going down this last side here done a load more uh, 50 mil cuts for the back so final push and get this done today don't look like i've done loads but it's about it's five courses in total because i've got that that and then three behind three slithers and it's about 70 bricks in total, this job. So it is quite a few bricks, but it just don't look like I've done much. I was trying to explain to the customer. <laughs> but either way, we're getting there.
we've set a 100 mil cavity out behind got our two 50 mil cuts on the back and then i've just smeared a load of compo on put my tray down um, as you can see it drops just about 75 mil which is not too bad but i'll make sure to put on another roller tray um, so yeah that's pretty much how i've been doing this entire job so now time for plimps Right, that's where I'm leaving it for today. We've got all the plimps around everywhere pretty much, just apart from a little bit I need to do over there, but that don't matter. Got this long side just done, that's what I was just uh, showing you guys. So now we are all ready for block work tomorrow, which is nice. Uh, what I'd normally do with these plimps, because they're like engineering's, I point them pretty roughly and then I come back tomorrow and just buff them up with a hose and a brush because they come up mint anyway. 
so I don't waste my time trying to make them look pretty when they're wet do it tomorrow anyway that's pretty much me done today yeah it don't look like I've done loads but I just had a little tot up 70 in a course 70 long um, and overall I've, I've done five courses so it's only 350 bricks but saying I had a late start about half ten so I had to go pick up all my plimps yeah not too bad sand right i will catch you tomorrow